what should we do first? Go sledding? I'll grab Big Red, too! Uh-uh! There. Now we're good. My dads don't want us to get frostbite. Ah! Here, I've had a lot of practice with this. What if I have to pee? Not a problem. Just give me 15 minutes notice. Pilot to co-pilot, we are ready for launch! Uh-uh. Uh -uh. Good thing we found that clearance sale on mattresses. And on bubble wrap. Now we're good. Okay. Well, this is still gonna be fun. Here we go! Whee! Uh, why aren't we moving? Oh, we called ahead and asked the groundskeeper to level the hillside. My dad still wants us to break our necks. <sighs> Great, now all of our food is gone. I have an idea. What if we... I'm not listening to you until you put on nope. a jacket. Uh, nope, I don't wanna. I run hot. You two are so lucky you have me. As the savior of the group, I put together an emergency survival kit because I knew this day would come. You knew our apartment would fill with snow and polar bears? I guess desert sand and Komodo dragons, but same idea. So we just need to get the kit from my room. But paper, where is your room? I'm having a lot of fun today. Lincoln, I've got a cold butterscotch! Cheryl's digitizing the school records and is going to find out that your attendance isn't perfect? Exactly, but I've got a plan. I'm in. I'm going back to school after Principal Huggins and Cheryl leave to remove my file. I'm in. Now, I know it sounds risky, and I understand if you don't want to get involved. I'm in. But it would really mean a lot to me if... Wait, did you say you're in? Three times. Oh, you're the best, buddy. Whew. Now no one will ever know I lied about my perfect attendance. Success! Success! We're using a drill. No, ah, we're not using a drill! <sighs> Guys, a cat! Oh, and it looks hungry! <coughs> Can we take it to its food? Team decision. <coughs> we're taking the cat! Woohoo! Yeah, yeah. taking the cat! Now, which one of you's got a gentle touch? Uh, guys, come look at the conveyor belt I rigged up. I think it'll help make things go a lot faster. I made it out of a treadmill your parents were getting rid of. See, we could do an assembly line and... Uh, Annabelle! No! Oh, What's the Buddy, now the phone really begins. I'll sled to that. Yahoo! Faster! Faster! I'm so sorry. That wasn't supposed to happen. Well, that's a relief. It was supposed to be a parachute. Get ready, Rock. This is gonna be epic. One, two, ow! Those two, they're getting along so well. Just like.
like us when we first met. You ladies better unpack quick. The ice cream truck is here and we get a senior discount. Senior discount? Why, thank you, young man. Oh, I can't run late. Making a friendship blanket with our two best friends. I love you guys. It's Lou. Let me in. Shoot, it's the landlord. Don't answer it. I don't want to deal with that pile of garbage. Paper. He's not that bad. No, I mean, he's literally trash. Best in the trilogy. Good morning, everyone. Check out... Clean Gimmick, Gimmick Cloud, Cloud, Best Buds and Proud. Hmm? <gasps> Commencing Zesty Spurtle's Best Buds Handshake in three, two, one. MSB Awards? I'm voting for totally you guys. They were the win. best. <laughs> guys, look! Clink and McCloud has a best friend handshake, too! <laughs> uh. Paper, keep your legs straight. Scissors, breathe, and let go. <sighs> Do you hear that? Focus on the pose. I hear it, too. Is it bouncing? Focus on the pose. So, this is the first place that I saw the ghost. <gasps> Clyde, I found something over here. <gasps> uh, it's even grosser than I thought. Awesome! What is it? Ectoplasmic residue! Ghost goop. I'll take some for further study. We need to go. Okay, like we practiced. A one and a two and a you know what to do. Guys, I think something's wrong with my horse. That was weird. Well, at least my horse is normal. Hair dryers? You can't play hockey without ice. <laughs> hey, is your refrigerator running? <laughs> what do you mean? Yes, and it's coming for me. Well, that's the news for today. From all of us here at Action News, have a happy day, kangaroos. <laughs> that's a wrap. How do we do? I think we nailed it. Yeah. 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 I can't wait to hear what everyone thought about our first episode. Everyone hated your first episode. Sorry, I'm going to have to cancel the show. What? How's that possible? Your action news had no action and no news. No one found it interesting except for Mr. Bolhofner, who is suing the school. Well, what if we can change that? What if we can come up with a really great story that will hook people? Guys, the annual Inventors Fair is coming up. I think this is finally my year. Oh, yeah, my that's my 100%. Boy. That's, that's my, my boy right there. We can't let him compete. What? Why? To help him. Every year he enters the fair with a horrible invention, gets last place, and becomes an emotional wreck. Remember? My headphone shoes. My electric hamburger bun. My nose smear mascara. <laughs> Maybe this year will be different. He just needs one great idea. Hey, what do you think of this invention? Iron swimsuit. I'd wear that. Sounds right like a winner, that my is yours. Yeah, we can't let him enter. Well, game over. Mind if I play again? Oh, sure. I was going to suggest putting it back in its case and admiring it from afar, but go ahead. 
Guess you've got your weekend all mapped out. Well, actually, I can only play with this until 11.59 p.m. Tomorrow is screen-free Sunday. It's a new McBride house rule. My dads think we need one day a week to completely unplug. I guess that fits right in with your meatless Mondays and wheatless Wednesdays. Game over. Dang it! You know, Clyde, since you have to unplug tomorrow, maybe I could borrow the snap. Uh, you mean like at your house? As long as you're cool with it. <gasps> Is that the snap? Give me, give me, give me that snap! Okay, Clyde, you know you're not comfortable with this. Just tell him the truth. You don't want him to borrow it. Of course you can borrow it. I'll bring it over tomorrow. Thanks, buddy. Here it comes. Here it comes. Mm -hmm. Oh, hey, scissors. How's the job hunt? Actually, I'm in the running for a pretty important position. That's great. What is it? Oh, uh, I can't really talk about it because it's super top secret. Mm-hmm. And it could affect the fate of the world. He's not looking. No, I am. I just can't say anything other than the job involves being extremely awesome and talented. I know what the problem is. Rock and I aren't eating enough pizza, so we'll just have to eat more pizza to give you more motivation. Do we have to? I already ate nine slices. Mm. 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 Eat more pointedly, Rock. Mm. 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 Hello, everyone. Can we have your attention, please? I hope you haven't had dessert yet, because my best friend Clyde and I have a special treat for you. He's the apple in my pie. The ketchup on my fry. When it comes to best friends, yes, I rely on this guy. Yeah! He's the honey in my chai. The tuna in my surprise. Every day solidifies my ties to this guy. The macaroni with no cheddar and no one can make it better than yours. Lincoln, I've been thinking that we might be running out of food. The best. Zach, I wouldn't put that to a test. Cause we're better than the rest. Best friends with this guy. Hey guys, wanna sing the song we wrote about our car, the Susan? Yeah! I mean, the music's already started. Might as well. We love the Susan. She's the greatest car around. We love the Susan. She brings a smile to everyone in town. And poor hot rod, she's got a hot and Maluna helps us park. We love the Susan, she's the greatest car around. She may guzzle too much gas and take up too much space. But if you want to challenge her, she'll beat you in. Sorry, hold on, I know, I know! Listen, Clyde, we knew this day would come. Right now, let's get to our secret hideout for supplies and zombie fighting gear. Good call. Clink in the cloud! <laughs> Mind if we stop at the Burp and Burger? I need to use the bathroom. I know it's for paying customers, but I really have to go. It's the apocalypse, Clyde. I think that rule is out the window. And just one drop of growth serum. Pencil! Ah! Paper, what's going on? I need a smart thing so I can look better than the guacamole guy. Guacamole guy? Yes, the guacamole guy. Can I borrow this drone? Thanks. I'll return these. I just gotta be more stylish than Putty. You get it. Actually, I, I don't. Who's Putty? Pencil, do you have any fireworks? To outperform someone named Putty? Oh, shoot, I forgot about Putty! Clyde, let me give you a hand! Now, where did I put the fresh chives? Perfect, and here are the mini croque monsieur. Uh, why do you have two plates? This one's for the cats. Mmm, <laughs> Clyde, c'est un délice! Time for the second course. 
Uh, I'll take this one. Paper's a very loving guy. And he does care about scissors. I mean, look what I filmed last week. Making waffles for my friend. They'll be just as sweet as you. Here's another one. I'm gonna end you! You're dead! No, that's not the... Well, uh, I'll find more. <laughs> Clyde? You're still here? Sorry, Lincoln. I know you wanted me to leave, but I passed out. No, Clyde. I want you to stay. I was just at your house apologizing to someone. Oh, that must have been my stuffed animals. They kind of keep me company at night. Right, because you're an only child. No wonder you like hanging out with all of my sisters. Yeah, sometimes it's pretty lonely at my house. Dude, your story moves both my heart and my fingers. How about we start this sleepover again? You mean it? Definitely. Only this time. <gasps> We're going to do what you want to do. We're going to eat the most decadent pizza ever created. No! The ultimate meat hugger's double stuffed deep dishinator with 50 pounds of cheese. <laughs> It's so good. Oh, oh. oh there's pizza underneath the pizza. Oh. 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 Wait, I know what I'm good at. Oh, Rock, he ran away. We're gonna come find you, scissors. We just want you to have oh, as much fun. Oh, oh no. As we're having! No more pizza! No more pizza! So why didn't you want me to borrow the snap? I was afraid something was gonna happen to it. I'm pretty particular about my stuff. And you're, um, a little less particular? And then you throw in your ten sisters and- Clyde, if that's how you felt, why didn't you just tell me? I was afraid you'd be hurt, and our friendship would be over. And I'd be destined to walk through life alone and become one of those people who only talk to cats. God, it's happening again! Clyde, that's ridiculous. I might have been a little hurt at first, but I would have understood. I know I'm not as careful with my stuff as you are. No one is. Fair point. So, we're still friends? Of course we are. Thanks for understanding. I promise to be more honest in the future. And you've given me a lot to talk about on Therapy Thursday. <laughs> Here's your snapback. Thanks, buddy. Well, I should probably get home. We're all the best in our own way. Paper is smart, rock's stylish, and I'm the jerk. I mean, dang it! Guys, can we just hug for a second? Oh, you know it! Bring it in! Hey, you great. No, you're great. I love you guys! Also, we really have to communicate better. My goodness! Clyde, check out this old pic. Lenny dressed Cliff up like Santa Claus. Aww. On Halloween! What? Why would she do that? That's so confusing for Cliff. Go on, Clyde. Explore your feelings. Aw, a cat dressed as Santa. But on Halloween. <laughs> it's still adorable. You could call him Santa Pauls. You know what? That is adorable. And he could say Meowie Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Meryl. I was really on the verge of some serious fury there. <laughs> Okay, big smiles, eyes open, no wackiness. <sighs> I think we got it, guys. That felt pretty perfect to me. What is it? Hmm, there's something off. Are my eyes closed? I don't think it's that. I'm in. Just keep a lookout for grouse. Don't worry, you can count on me. I'm not going anywhere. 